guys welcome back to the channel today we got hired to do a job uh clean up some brush here in the storage unit area uh so what we did we got ourselves a hold of this uh badger uh wild this well they call it the wild badger four in one yard care system uh this should have everything we need to do to do what we need to do today and at this price point i don't think you're going to find a better deal especially with what it comes with it comes with the 17 inch string trimmer which you can also use it for edging the nine point what is it nine point four inch pole saw it has the hedge trimmer and it also has the brush cutter which has that blade that cuts down the thicker branches that'll be nicer we'll show you guys we'll give a little sample of all of them that we're going to do um with that being said let's open this up see what's inside first and we'll give you more information on it I and mean, we looked into it for a little while but like i said at this price it's a really good price so I think as at the time of this video, it was like $201 or something on Amazon. So I don't think you're going to beat that price anywhere. Especially for what you're getting. It's not, it's not too bad either. I mean, it's got a little weight because it is uh, all aluminum. It's, it's got the all aluminum uh, guard here or uh, cover here. So it... I mean, it feels good and sturdy. I like it. Now, this has a 26cc engine on it. It's supposed to be easy to start, they say. You know, within five five pulls, and that's when you're starting it from cold. So, that would be something cool. Oh, the assembly is supposed to be pretty easy on this also. What we have in here? We have, you have your guard that you put on. I don't think you want to put this on when you're using the uh, brush cutter, but you do it when you're doing the weed whacker for sure your operator's manual you got that there a little tool kit they give you like a spark plug a wrench with screwdriver a little wrench everything you need to put this together probably oh and here's your harness that you wear kind of a, oh yeah that's that pad that will sit here so when you're you're sitting there with the trigger it kind of has something to rest against that's pretty nice open here All right, this is the head unit you can see that where everything's going to attach like your well not everything but at least your weed whacker and your brush cutter will attach to that All right, this is the pole saw you got your cover for the saw, which is nice. This is a part of your pull saw. It's got the little tank for your barn chain oil. That's pretty nice. It comes with a chain. Let's see what, does it tell me what brand chain on there? It doesn't, but uh, we'll check it out later. And also has your, your 9.4 inch pull saw blade so that's that one one more here is your brush cutter or not brush cutter but your bush for trimming your hedges well it's packaged good so we got that going And there's that piece so that's everything in the box it looks like a bunch but you're not using all the attachments all at one time as far as i understood with this uh set too some of these attachments will fit other other units it does have the typical square uh rod there so that it can connect to other head units maybe you got a different one or you got more than one, somebody could use this one with an attachment, somebody could use one of the other one you have with an attachment, so that'd be nice if that is the case. So we got it all laid out here. I'm gonna start putting this one together. It is pretty easy to put together. This is the first one we're gonna wanna do. This is the Weed Whacker one. That's the one we're gonna do first out here outside of this RV. So you just put it on this way, line the holes up, and just tighten it down. Uh, a note while we're doing this is uh, when I was pulling the stuff out of the box, I didn't see the brush blade, but it's hidden in there. It's hidden in the corner of the box. 
it'll look like that. So don't don't forget to think it's not in there. It's in there. It's just flat. Kind of hides on the side. There you go, our, our guard is on there. We have that set and ready to go. Uh, we didn't tighten this up yet because I think for the ease of putting this together, I'm gonna pull it apart just to get that head trimmer attachment on there faster. That'll be nice. So, And the nut that works on this is also that wrench here. So like I said, everything you need for this job will be in the kit. And when you're undoing this nut, it's not righty tighty lefty loosey, it's opposite. Kind of like the propane tank, so keep that in mind when you're taking it apart. We're going to put our string trimmer head on there. It does come with a little string, so you're going to want to add more, I'm sure. Again, this just threads on. You can see the threads screws right onto that same spot. You'll want to retain these later for your brush attachment. So we're just going to screw this on. Remember, it's backwards when you're spinning it on there. And there is a hole in here you can put your Allen key in. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a hole in there that'll hold it in place while you spin the head to tighten it. So, and that's it for that. All right, guys, we have the fuel filled up. It's a 50 to one mix. We have it filled up with fuel. We got the harness on him. As you can see, the harness fits pretty nice. It's got the pads you put on your shoulders. They're adjustable. And then you have the, the hip pad right there. And then you have the clip, which is going to clip on right here when you uh, go to hook it up. But we're going to start this for the first time. What it says to do is there's a primer bulb on the bottom. You're supposed to press that 10 times. And then you got to get your switch over here, put it to start up top. And once it's on start, you, you crank it. It should crank within five times is what they say. Then you kick it to run, let it run for about a minute, let it warm up, then you can commence to going at it. So here we go. Right. All right, click it to run. There we go. Hope you guys can hear me. We're gonna let it warm up for a minute. It is a bump. It is a bump uh, feed, so you can just bump the button on the bottom, it'll feed it. There you go. It bumped and fed. So now, go over here, give it, give it a try, see how it works. I would say that is working good. So let's try the brush cutter. All right, guys, as you can see, the weed whacking part works pretty good. Uh, one thing we didn't put on, which sometimes I don't, is the handle, because I just like to have a swing. It's a one-arm thing, but uh, for our helper there, it helps him to have the handle. So we're going to put this on. Besides, it helps, it shows you guys what to do. Also, when you guys are doing this, it goes on set, but don't forget your safety glasses, because it will kick up some stuff at you. Uh, this is rubber. When To put this on, this has a rubber sleeve. You put on the shaft here, and then there's a a groove in it that this will fit into so you know when you have it on there right it'll perfectly sit in there then it's the four bolts you just put it down on there and then tighten it down so when we're done with this what we're going to do is we're going to put on the brush cutter bit and try that because we got some brush around here that needs to be cleaned up too so we're going to do both of those we'll try that out and then we'll also show you the uh, hedge trimmer and then uh the pole saw because that pole saw is pretty cool and it's got the extension there so you can you can get a pretty good length with it with that with that extension piece so you can start trimming that so let me get this on and then i'll show you guys I'll show you guys how to put that brush cutter bit on there all right guys now that we're going to put on our brush cutter blade we want to pay attention to the direction of the arrow the arrow is pointing that way which we know it spins this way here's the blade if you need to know the blade that cuts the string that's the direction you want that arrow facing and when you put this on there is a groove right here. You're gonna want that facing down because that's gonna hold onto your blade. So we're gonna do that. And then your washer has one of those grooves too. We want the flat side onto it. And then of course our nut in the nut cup. 
because the cup protects the nut when it's on there. And remember, when you turn that on, it is backwards. And we're just going to tighten that down. Being sure to hold that up there. Then we're going to go out there and try this out. All right, guys, we got that cutting blade on. We're going to start this for the first time. There you go, start it easy. Just have it on run. awesome let's try the next attachment all right guys i'm pretty having a bunch of fun with this thing it works really good uh next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try out that uh hedge trimmer this thing here has a nice blade guards three quarter inch opening on the blades which is nice so and this one hooks up pretty easy too and it has multiple angles i can't wait to show you that but let's get this one off first set that to the side then we're gonna mount this one into the holder first. You'll see on here, there's a, an orange arrow. It's gonna point up towards this. On here, there's one bolt and it's gonna point up towards that hole. That's what we're lining up. So we're just gonna push it in there. It should bottom out. Then you can tighten that screw. You'll know if it's in there. It should fall right in the hole like that. See, we're in there. And then we're just going to finish tightening that up. That'll hold that on there. And don't forget to tighten this uh, clamp one too on the side. That helps pinch the pole, keeps it there. And what's cool about this one, with this bottom one and this top, you can click it, you can pick what angle you want to trim at. I mean, you could be trimming like this just on the side of a bush, or if you want to turn it like that, you're getting the top of the bush. So it, it's, it's pretty cool to have those angles. We're going to try it straight, I guess, for now. Uh, a clip for or a clue for you guys or not a clue but a tip is to before you put these in they get a little bit of grip so put a little wd-40 or a little bit of grease on there it'll help you get them on it in and out easier there we go that's on take our guards off of there <laughs> we're ready to give this one a try let's go All right, guys, we are out here. We're trying out the edge trimmer piece. What I want to do, though, is I want to see how loud this is from about five feet away. Uh, we're going to use the decimal me meter here on the phone, see what we got. So go ahead, bud, start it up. Press reset. About 102 max there, but we're running about... Eighty-nine or so, so not not terrible. It's not bad at all. So go ahead, let's shoot some bushes. As, as you can see guys that cuts pretty good i mean this ain't a full-on bush but it simulates it because it has the thicker branches on it but it worked pretty good we're going to try an angle here real quick you got to pinch both pick the angle you want i don't know how you want to do it you want to get a different angle yeah i want to i want to like yeah i like that over there you go this is where that angle oh hold on yeah this is where the angle comes in nice so go ahead and try it out Pretty nice, guys. So if you're trying to be Edward Scissorhands, you can get a nice cut on that. Get the shape you want. So let's try out the uh, the pole saw now. All right, guys. You've seen how that hedge trimmer worked. It works awesome. That angle's on there. Oh, man, it's going to make trimming the top of the bushes so much easier. Now we're going to put this pole saw together. we got to put the blade and chain on it. And then we're going to fill it with bar oil, and then we'll mount it. So let's get this one off first. 
again these these interchange easily see that's not off already make sure you put your guards on your your blades that's what we're going to do here one of these then we're going to go and uh set that down all right let's put this bar together it's going to be pretty simple if you guys ever mess with a chainsaw before you have the nut on here on your cover. We're going to want to take that off. Hope you guys can see that all right. We're just taking the cover off the side. Then you can see where your bar is going to sit. So we're going to pop our bar out of here. You can see that. You're going to need to, once you get using this heavy, you're going to want to lube this star bit or the star part on the end. There's a little hole for that. If you're using one of these, you probably know. So we're going to get this mounted on here. You'll see where it mounts. There's an adjuster. A little knob adjuster that's where that's there's holes in this that's going to go on there so we're going to set that there just for now while we get the chain out it's a cute little chain because that's at 9.4 inches of cut so you want to make sure too that your teeth are cut in the right direction when you're going on it you want the the front part of the tooth to face the front so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this on our bar first. Like that. And then this back piece is going to go around this sprocket back here. So we want to, well, maybe we want to put it on that first. We have to adjust that screw. We can, which you never know. You might have to. Get it set on here, here. We are going to have to adjust that screw because it's not in the right spot. And on the front of here, you'll see there's that adjustment screw. Just turn it till it gets into where it'll fall in the hole. I don't know if you guys can see it, get you guys closer. There's that little adjustment screw there. We want to adjust that till the, that little thing lines up with there. So we're just going to turn this thing hopefully in the right direction. Yep, that's the right direction. We're just going to continue with that until we get it to where it needs to be. Then we will tighten it up. This is also where you tighten your chain if it starts to loosen. You just loosen that nut on the side and turn the screw a little bit, and that'll tighten your chain on the bar. Oh, almost there. There it is. There, it fell in there nicely. So we got that on there nice. Now we're going to put our cover back on with the nut. We don't want to tighten the nut too much because we still got to tighten that chain. So you can see the slack we have in the chain. That's too much. We're just going to turn this and then the slack in the chain will go away. Yeah, I'll do it this way for you guys upside down so you guys can see the slack. And then it'll tighten up and go away. As we tighten it. There we go. See the slack go away? That's what you want. You want a little slack, but you don't want that much slack. So... There we go, we got about a tooth's worth of slack. That's what we want. And we'll tighten this nut the rest of the way. There we go. Now we just gotta put some bar oil in there. Boom, we got a little premium bar and chain oil. You wanna put that in there, that's important because you wanna make sure that chain's nice and lubed. Otherwise you'll burn through that bar. Ask me how I know. How do you know? <laughs> Funny. All right, that's filled up with some bar and chain. Same way we put the other attachments on, we do this the same way. Again, recommend lubing up the tip of this if you can, just to make things a little easier to go on. 
All right, guys, we're over here. We've got a couple of these low-lying bushes or branches and some dead ones. We're gonna trim this one here first, see how good this thing works. Again, it's the one pull start. See how good this cuts. Okay, guys, that worked pretty good. You don't wanna get in here where it's pinching. Since they're hanging, you might wanna cut from the top side so it won't pinch your blade. But otherwise, it's pretty sharp. It does pretty good. Should be easy to sharpen too. Well, there it is, guys. We put this thing through its paces, test all the different attachments, and they work great. Um, with that aluminum support on there also, I mean, it's still pretty lightweight. It feels pretty good. You can see it wasn't too loud. Uh, this thing does come with a three-year warranty. If you had any problems, you contact them. They'll handle it, take care of that for you. Um, everything here comes in this kit. I mean, except for, like, of course, the bar and chain and stuff. But everything here comes in the kit that you're going to need. And I, I'm telling you, it's an awesome thing. Uh, this is perfect for the homeowner. Uh, this kit will give you everything you're going to need to pretty much trim up around the yard. Um, and with, with the, it even comes with the tools, so if you don't have many tools, you're good to go with that. Uh, if you guys are interested in this, we will leave links to this down below. Uh, there's an Amazon link. Uh, we can also leave a link there's, to it on eBay, wherever you guys shop. Uh, if, if you do get it from Amazon, it is an affiliate link, which will help the channel out. We got we appreciate that, guys. So for 200 bucks, I don't think you're going to find a better deal anywhere uh, on a complete set like this. Even this padded thing for your hip, is that's pretty good. You don't see those in a lot of them. It was fun doing this video. I hope you guys had a good time watching it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please hit us up down below. We'll get to them for you, answer any questions we can. Um, if there is any coupons or discounts that we can get you, that'll be down below also, if there is any. Uh, we want to remind you guys, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and follow, share, all that good stuff. Hit that post notification so you know next time we post a video. We like previewing some of the stuff that we're using all the time, so it's fun to do. Hopefully you guys get some benefit out of it too if you're looking for to buy this stuff. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and try something new.